friends, it's Tamsin from Babbling Books and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I lay out my monthly spread in my bullet journal. This is the journal which I use to keep track of all of the things that I post for Babbling Books, whether that's making Instagram posts or whether it's making YouTube videos. I think that this is a spread which you can use if you're any kind of blogger or YouTuber or Instagrammer. Basically, you could use this for anything, this type of spread, but this is something which I've customized to suit what I need and the kinds of things which I'm trying to keep track of every month. This is what it looks like. I use a moleskin journal in the basic size and I use dots instead of lines or squares. I just really prefer the dots. And if you've seen my travel journal flip through, this is a very similar book, though this is actually the hardcover version rather than the soft cover. What I'm going to do now is take you through how I created this page and I filmed myself doing it. I didn't try and plan this out beforehand. I have filmed exactly what I did and you'll notice that I only use pen and I don't do anything in pencil first because I guess I'm just the Ravenclaw version of a risk taker. First thing I do when I'm setting up a new notebook is to make sure to flip to the back of the book and create a test page for any pens that I think I might be using to check whether they bleed through, how easy they are to write with, and what their size is. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm testing a Copic Multiliner in 0.5, a Stabilo in 0.4, and a Uniball Micro Deluxe. And I ended up going with the Stabilo 0.4 size. As I mentioned in the intro, the purpose of this layout is to track my monthly posts, my purchases and my reviews and collate all of the stats that I like to keep track of for my Babbling Books account. I really like decorating my pages just a little bit, um, enough to make this interesting. And what I'm doing here is just tearing up some paper and sticking it in with double-sided tape. I find that double-sided tape creates less mess. Um, and is really easy and smooth to write over if you decide to write over the top of it to do a heading or to do some notes. If you're nervous, you can do your layouts in pencil first or draw any of your designs. Um, I choose not to because that just works for me and I'm replicating a layout which has worked over the last couple of months. The left hand page is my monthly log. This is where I'm gonna record what I post each day or to write down a list of what I plan to post each day so that I remember later in the week. I also record against this the number of likes that each of my posts receive on Instagram. I also love using washi tape as a great divider. It adds a lot of color and just breaks up the page. Uh, it's really easy to use and it doesn't create any mess. The right hand page is where I keep track of anything which is not linked to a particular day of the month. So this could be anything, but to help me write my monthly wrap ups and film any book hauls, I track what I've bought and borrowed and what I've read on this page. To decorate the left hand page, I added a quote that I really need to focus on this month and I added a drawing of one of my plants. The quote says, make time for yourself. Each month I try and create different little decorations on each page just to keep it interesting but I don't spend too much time on them and I try and keep them really really simple so that they're not really distracting from all of the information that I'm trying to record and also so when I get to the next month I don't feel pressured to create something really elaborate that takes up a lot of time. On the bottom left I keep track of followers and subscribers across my four main channels. I tend to switch up what I keep track of in this box each month but I always track Instagram at a minimum. And you'll see here that I have also added Twitter, YouTube and Tumblr this month. You'll see here that I'm not spending too much time on my headings. I do really like to keep them very simple so I don't get too overwhelmed and skip a month because I wanted it to be perfect. I just use my normal handwriting and I make them a little bit fancy by adding some little leaves or vines. This month I decided to add on the right hand page a tracker for what books I need to review and which YouTube and blog posts I actually made onto my channel and to, onto my website. I create a little column in the to review section and I use that to color in each review that I have completed. I think it's impossible to have too many plants so I added a couple of extra ones to this design. Now adding a goal for the month is a new thing for me that I'm testing out and I'll see how it goes. But this month I decided to set my goal as make time for reading the things that make me feel joy and avoid focusing too heavily on deadlines. So this is the spread. This is the left hand page of my journal, which includes my goals, space for all of my monthly posts and space for all of my daily posts this month and my 
statistics tracker. This is my right hand page, which is the to do list with all of its different sections, the read, borrowed and bought to review and the YouTube and blog posts. And to give you an idea of how I change my spreads up each month and how I keep the basic structure the same, here's an example of the tracker that I used in May, which is fully completed. You'll notice that I don't fill in every single section and there's lots of blank spaces, but I've got enough space that if I do need to fill in things, then I have enough space to do that. And finally, here is my July tracker, which is partially completed as we're a little bit into the month when I'm filming this. And I'm going to continue to fill it in throughout the month. And I'm finding that it's actually working really well. I'm really happy with this layout. And I think it improves on some of the little bits in May, which weren't quite working for me. I hope you found this video interesting. And if you end up designing a similar spread to this for your own progress tracking, please let me know. I'd love to see a picture of it.